We're going to look at uh, sort of the very basics of uh, applying uh, adjustment layers and by only applying it to certain parts of the photo by using a brush um, to control the mask. Okay, we're going to take a, a look at this tiger. Quite a nice photo, but the problem is the lighting is, is completely wrong. Um, most of the face is in shadow and the background is far too bright. Um, so we'll, we'll want to reduce the brightness on the background and increase the brightness on the face to bring out um, the photo of this uh, rather nice tiger. Now, how do we go about this? On the right hand side here, pick the layers tab. You may be defaulting to the adjustment tab, but just pick the layers tab there and you'll get a little mini photo uh, of your uh, tiger, whatever picture you're running on. And what we want to do is apply adjustment layers to this. And these are actually down here uh, in this uh, little icon here. If I click on that, we get things like uh, levels, white balance, exposure, black and white, brightness and contrast. And these can be applied to the photo. So how do we do this? If we just click on this adjustment and the first thing I'm going to do is pick a brightness and contrast. You'll see the layer appear above the photo and we can make adjustments. So let's increase the brightness until we're happy uh, with the brightness on the face of the tiger. We'll increase the contrast slightly just to bring out um, uh, the, the blacks in, in his face. Maybe just increase the brightness again. And there we go. I'm fairly happy with that to start with. There are obviously problems. It's made the background way too, too bright. And certainly on this side of the tiger, it's gone too much. So we need to take that away. So just hit the X. We've got this layer sitting on top of uh, our photo if I can turn it on and off so just hit the tick here so that's the original photo and this is with the brightness uh, applied now you'll see this area here is completely white that's basically saying uh, this brightness has been applied to the entire photo and what we want to do is take that away and I can do that with a brush so let's Click on the left hand side here and pick the paintbrush tool. Make sure it's this one, not uh, one of the ones below, the colour replacement or the pixel tool. Pick the brush and you'll be given your brush image there. Um, and what we need to do is, this is completely white, which means it's applied to everything. And I can say by picking a black paintbrush, I can take it away. Now, the brush itself, you can see a little highlight here. What I'm going to do is just turn the hardness up. And you can see what would happen if I clicked on there. You can see that that's, if I click multiple times, it gets blacker and blacker on, on the uh, uh, little icon here. And it's showing that I'm taking away that brightness control. Now that's um, not very good. You can see a very sharp, harsh edge here. So I'll just undo that completely there. Okay. So what we want to do is make this much more subtle. And what general way of doing that is, first of all, reducing the hardness. Now at the top here, you can either type in a number, say 10%, or you can click on a little arrow there and move it up and down. Or, if you just click on hardness itself, if you move to the left, it will reduce. If you move to the right, it will increase. And that's probably the quickest way. So in this case, I want to reduce the hardness to zero. Um, I'll put the opacity up to 100, flow 100. Now you can see that the, the edge is much softer. And I can bring this in against the edge of the tiger. If that's still too hard, I can reduce the opacity. Let's have 
let's just work over here and I'll just paint that in removing the brightness from these areas here there we go and I'll just keep doing that and I'll bring it around to this area here and you can see I'm going possibly over a little bit too too much here let's just uh, keep painting until I get to the um, removing the, the darkness I actually want to remove we've actually got on the side of the uh, tiger here this is a bit bright so I can actually paint over this area and just remove it and blend it in now let's look at the face the right hand side is a bit darker than the left but I want it to be a little bit more subtle so I'm going to reduce the opacity again let's say 10% and I can just do a very gentle brush and just bring those areas down a little bit to match the opposite side there we go and I can also go back in the areas where I might have gone too far on this area here so to bring that back I pick on the white brush and it's doing the opposite it's painting the effect back in so there we go, I can just gently brush that in. Same up here, I might want to reduce my brush to be a little bit more careful. And the same here on the ears, where I went over a little bit too hard. And there we go. So the face is a little bit more balanced now. And we can see the mask here, where I've painted. So if I actually want to see that on the photo, I hold the ALT key down and left click on the image and you can see here that on the outside I've completely removed the brightness effect but on the face area it's just a light grey and I'm, I'm just reducing it not fully but only a small amount and uh, again here so this just basically allows it to be blended in if I want to get rid of this, I can actually paint whilst I'm here, actually. So I can pick a black paintbrush, come up here, and either add it in or white brush and take it away. And just pick, just keep pressing, and it will remove um, the effect in that area. Click on any on the background, and you'll get back to the photo. Okay, so that's the first one. Now I can check what I've done by turning this layer on and off. There we go, it's turned off. Turn it back on and straight away you can see that the, the tiger's face is much more um, the focus of attention. Now what I want to do is, is almost the opposite for the background. I want to make that darker. So again, come down onto the background, pick your um, uh, adjustment and again I'll just use brightness and contrast but this time I'm focusing on on the background how dark do I want it to be so I'm going to reduce the brightness and bring that down until and you can you can go a fair bit because we're going to paint paint on this um, and I can reduce the contrast uh, maybe not too much that's probably dark enough okay just hit the X to come back and we've got this layer here so again what I want to do is not have it applied to the to the tiger so again make sure your paintbrush tool is selected make sure your brush is black because we're now going to paint on here and I'm going to increase my hardness just to get the bulk of the work done and opacity and I can just paint just don't go too close to the edges bigger brush there we go and I can just take that back out there we go now I need to be a little bit more careful so reduce the hardness 
maybe reduce the opacity and just come in and you can see the harsh edge going away and I can I've gone over a little bit too much but I can come back let's reduce the brush again and I can just go around the tiger and take these areas out there we go now if I go around the edge you know, I'm being quite rough here at the moment and I can be a little bit more subtle in a moment There we go. So what I can do is Alt click. And you can see I probably want to increase my hardness. So I can actually use this as an outline. I can just fill this in and make sure it's, it really is dark. Uh, put the opacity back up. So just make that sure that's really dark and I've completely removed it. There we go. Click on the background, click on the mask, make sure you're back on the mask and you can see areas here where I still need to oh, let's reduce the hardness back down again because we want a soft edge and just gently brush that, that out. There we go. Now I've obviously gone too far so I can pick the white brush and bring that back in so that you can't see the edge so easily. Um, sometimes a bigger brush is better. You just subtly go in, just feathering into the edge there, bring it down. I just want to attack this a little bit. Air, go back, black. And you can basically go around your, your subject and bring it bring him out there we go we don't want uh, we want a bit a little bit better around the edges here there we go so this is, I'm doing it quite quickly quite rough so straight away if we look at if I click on um, if I hold the shift key down I can select both layers and I can turn them off together. That's the original. And now we've almost reversed it. So we've got a darker background and the tiger is starting to come, come out. So I'm going to do one more. So back onto uh, the background, pick a layer. And what I want to do is, is just focus on the eyes. So this time I'm going to use a levels adjustment. I'm going to zoom up on the eye. And if I bring bring it in, you can see the, the, the eye coming uh, brighter. Yeah, I probably don't want to bring the black up. So I can bring that out. Okay, I'm happy with that. But again, it's being applied to the entire photo. Now, in this case, I don't want to paint everything black apart from the eye, because that would be too much like hard work. So what I can do is invert. So um, basically just select the, the adjustment layer. And uh, sometimes it's a good idea to name them as well. So this is going to be uh, the eye. So if I come back later, I know exactly what that adjustment is. And I can say layer invert. You see it's gone completely black. So I can now pick a white paintbrush, come into the eye area, reduce the brush size and I can just gently brush in and make his eye look more prominent. Go over to the other one and do the same thing until I'm happy with the adjustment. So if we look at that, again I'll we'll just turn it on and off and we just increase the brightness on the eyes. Now another thing you can do with any of these, if you think the effect's too much, 
or too little, well in this case too much, you can change the opacity of this particular adjustment layer. So I can, just like the hardness up there, I can reduce it and increase it. So again, if I zoom up here, I can reduce the opacity until the effect goes away or I can increase it. So looking there, possibly a little bit too bright, I can just bring that back down to say 70 odd percent. And there we go. So we've added three adjustments there and we've applied it to certain areas by using a paintbrush and we can either take away the effect or we can add the effect back in. Um, so that's a very brief introduction to using glares and masks. Thank you.